all right here's my new general discussions topic and it talks about the dial um that bottom feeder uh the one who killed um, um who killed um, who killed that lady um who um, killed Kenesha Wright and her children and it's been noted that her cousin Rasheem Bennett apparently has confessed to that grisly and sickening mass murdering and now the court now the district now um the district attorney Palm um, DPP sorry Paul Lewin Lewin has basically has brought up the subject okay should how about should this guy get the death penalty and and it has, it has led to me doing this record and let us be prefaced by saying is that this is going to be bigger than Rasheem Bennett I mean the fact that he um do the, I do think that hey do the fact that he's apparently confessed yeah that this guy needs to be back in hell with hell with his master Satan as soon as possible it goes to something much bigger than that because I'm gonna say that for the for out of the gate though is that Jamaica do I, is that despite what Paul Lewin is saying and some other people who rightfully want this guy to be of the mortal coil, I generally though is not likely that he's gonna get the death penalty given Jamaica's track record. Now the Jamaican death penalty I means still on the boards, it's not been used for year, many years. That it they last stopped doing it in the late eighties. But for the most part, yeah, despite how higher murder rate is and the fact that many of the people who are responsible for said murder rate have not been met that met to put the hangman or have gotten the chair or whatever other means of putting someone of executing someone. Yeah, this is I just see this thing as a smoke and mirrors because of the fact that yeah, we're just playing on the emotional vulnerability of the of the public right now who rightfully want blood for um for what um for what Kamisha Wright and her children went through because remember these little babies again were um were robbed of a chance to live their full life and unfortunately uh, and unfortunately it um many there are many ways things that could have prevented this from happening. No what I said about Rasheed Bennett is is that is the fact that not only did he do these acts he also had been charged previously for trying to stab his own father. Yeah, the guy who helped to pr bring him into this world. And and, and, his, and unfortunately, his own dad said, you know, even though this little monster that I had to come, help to, help to bring to existence, try to murder me. Yeah, I'm not going to press charges. So, he, uh, and what I'm not saying is to say we should blame this, his dad for not putting that demon seed in a cage where he belongs. It should be noted that hey, if he had been charged, chances are Kamisha Wright and of her children would likely still be alive today. But it does go to that thing about Jamaica's benign neglect policy and how and how the thing with the death penalty, despite the fact that there are many people who rightfully deserve to get the death penalty, are not getting the death penalty. And and my, and the thing is though is that what I what they're saying about hey, he should get the death penalty, yeah. I'm not really buying that though. I'm not going to say that hey, that I'm that he that even though she's put uh, Paul Lewin is saying the right things in this occasion, it, this is just basically smoke and mirrors though. Cause at the end of the day, is that Rasheem Bennett did not murder anyone in high in high society. He did not commission right and or even his dad were people in high um in, um, in pro of, of prominence in Jamaica. And I'm pretty sure if that had been the case that he would either he wouldn't even be given the death penalty because we know that the police or some of the other associates would have actually saved the hangman out of the state from actually from doing the deed. But yeah, but I like my my take is those that I do agree that this monster this does deserve it. I don't realistically expect that that's going to happen. But the thing is, is that. That needs to change that. This needs to be a thing where if the person is genuinely guilty, and I'm saying this carefully because I don't have a case where an innocent person is rightfully, wrongfully sent um, to be publicly executed or whatnot. But it, things need to change is that we need, if we're going to say that the, certain people need to get the death penalty, and in cases like that, yeah, you should, especially if you harm children, that should be more in smoke and mirrors. We need to stop doing this bullshit where we 
say one thing just for it just just grab headlines and then we just let it hang out there for a little bit and then when the, when um, when the pipe dies down we are just going to abandon it because best believe that there's a, not that there's not going to be any bite with that bark that is going on when it comes to hey this guy this little monster deserves to be get a one-way ticket down to the inferno that needs to stop now we sp no, speak no in an interesting note but not very surprising we have the judge jamaicans for justice or as many jamaicans i call them the, the jamaicans for criminals or at least that's what i call them they said they little brain fart right now which is and the idiocy behind that is just appalling all right appalling and then you have the current um director um michael jackson saying caution against the death sentence uh death sentence um uh, death sentence Alright, okay, and let's uh, let's read this idiocy that is coming out. For, okay, for example, the accused in question, he's 23 years old, question is beyond rehabilitation. <sighs> well, let's read this more, this more idiot. What are some of the circumstances that a criminal justice system would be put in place? What if the accused is fat found guilty and since he left imprisonment? What else can he do, to do while he's in prison to ensure we see a more form in the society? Get the fuck out of here, I'm sorry. That is... That, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get into why I think he said that. Uh, society will be banned bars because of life imprisonment, but the certain rehabilitation must be considered. Alright. Okay. The fact that accused also allegedly confessed, he's just trying to class doubt on me whether or not he did it, is another thing that will have to be considered. If the accused confessed, was there circumstances of regret, so to speak, and should that be considered... With pursuing the death penalty. Why these are, these are some of the things we are seeing. Why I believe that the death not to be imposed in this particular case. All right. No, basically Jackson. No, and Jackson basically. Um, this is let us be. I Michael Jackson would have just said, okay, we don't know whether or not he actually did it. I could have, if he had just prefaced said, I doubt whether he's instant or not. But what Michael Jackson is doing in this stupidity right here is just saying. Hey, I know that this guy is a monster. This guy murdered four children, especially an infant. And is he beyond rehabilitation? Um, I don't know if Michael Jackson has kids of her own. And if she does, I mean, because uh, I can guarantee she does not believe the rubbish she just fixed her mouth to say. Because let that have been your kids or your relatives or some of your nieces uh, or some family or fr some friends of yours whose kids got their throats cut by this dev this devil. I really wonder if she'd be saying fixing her mouth to say that dumb shit right there. But I get but the thing is, is I believe that Mikhail Jackson does not believe a word that she just said. She just said that because hey, I'm being paid to say them um, to them um, to say this um, to say this as giving a speech um some talking points that I don't believe and I was going to say it because he, I'm getting a paycheck at the end of the day. Because like I said, she would not have said that if these were her children or like her, or like her, or the children of one of her relatives or her friends. Anybody who tries to say it differently, you're full of shit. But this ties into what we're saying though, is that Jamaicans, we need to stop playing our own. Like, I believe, I don't believe that the death penalty should be the first uh, option. Especially if there's no way that a person is innocent or not, guilty or not. But at the end of the day, if the person has shown that he, is, he or she is guilty, and he's something this heinous and egregious, yeah, yeah personally, just send them, okay, send them to the hangman, though. Let, let them meet the end of, let them, um, let, let them meet, the, be a company acquainted with a noose around their neck. Or like some jolts in an electric chair or whatever way that sends them out of existence. Because when you do that stuff, yeah, you do deserve to the death penalty. I mean, personally with me, I'd probably just put this guy in general population and put him with some prisoners who pretty much are parents who hate child killers and child pred predators and pretty much let them save the taxpayers' money. But that's just me. But I personally just want more to say that, yeah, we need the death penalty... I think in cases like this, it is necessary, and we need to stop making posturing and us making big speeches that lead to nothing. 
and just do it when it's necessary. That's pretty much my point of this whole thing is that the death penalty is important in cases like this because you have to let the, let some of these monsters know that hey, there are going to be consequences when you do bad stuff like this. So you take it to this frightening, sick level. Yeah, you don't get you don't get you don't get that card where we're going to um, play footsie or we're going to give you the kids gloves treatment. In certain case, gloves treatment where it's going to not break your jaw with a closed fist. And I said that. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Goose and Fern, Miles Productions with Thoughts and Miles. All right.